Hello, my name is Daniel Diskalski with ACC Telecom. I'm going to do a short video to introduce you to the 3CX phone software for the 3CX phone system. Uh, this is a nice tool for anybody in the office or even outside the office. They do make a mobile app of this as well for uh, both Android and iPhone. Uh, the computer software does work on Mac as well as PCs. Uh, it's got a bunch of tabs here across the bottom. We'll just run through these again. This is just going to be an overview of the product, introduce you to it, uh, not a full in-depth training like we'll do on a future video. First tab is the presence information. It's going to show you the presence info of all the individuals in your company. It uses little colored squares next to the names to show you what's going on. Uh, dark green being idle or available. Uh, yellow would be there on the phone. The neon green is there on lunch. There is a red for do not disturb or business trip, as, and that can be renamed, or a flashing red if their phone is actually in a ringing state. You can double click on any one of these options to call the primary number associated to that user, uh, in this case, the conference room extension number. Uh, you can also click the little carrot next to an individual if they have multiple numbers, uh, as well as an email. So I can choose to call the mobile, direct number, main office number, whatever it happens to be, or click email and it will actually open up your uh, own computer uh, email client and start a new email to that email address. The next tab is the contacts tab. This is more of a company-wide speed dial listing, uh, not extensions, but cell phone numbers or outside vendors, distributors, pizza place down the street, whatever you happen to put in here. Uh, everything you would want for a company directory can be put in here. You would click the the carrot next to the individual and click the number to call and it actually places the call to the number that was there. These numbers can be edited or deleted and you do have the ability to change that permission level for individual users so that only certain people can adjust this list as opposed to everybody in the company if that's what you wanted. Your call history shows you the uh, missed calls or placed calls. You've got options down here so this would be all calls this would be incoming calls only, this would be outgoing calls, and this would be missed calls. And this one here would be abandoned calls, calls that are on your phone that you didn't pick up. You can go into voicemails, any voicemail you happen to have in your mailbox will show in this list. I happen to have a test one here from the conference room. I can right click on that and play it over my computer speakers. I can play it on my phone. I can call the number back that left the message. Market is heard, market is unheard, or delete it. And this is a complete integration to your mailbox. So as you listen to these messages, your light on your phone will go out. As you delete these messages, they will disappear from your voicemail box. The little folder down here allows you to change your voicemail greetings. You have a default greeting, as well as greetings that you could technically assign to each one of the individual statuses you can put your extension in. Again, same colors as before, dark green being available. There is an orange for away. There is a red for do not disturb. There is a neon orange for lunch, as well as another red for a business trip. And again, that is something that can be adjusted. If business trip is what you want, you can make that other option something different. By default, they're all set to use the default greeting. And you can also change these greetings by browsing to a pre-recorded file on your computer. I can play this file on the phone, as well as record this right from my phone as well. When I click this, it'll have me fill in a name, and uh, it'll have you choose to give it a name. It'll call it the extension associated to this profile, and you would record that message right from the phone. The next uh, icon at the bottom is for chat. Uh, I can actually uh, do a new chat here. There's a compose chat down at the bottom. I can choose an individual to chat to, or I can choose multiple people at once. But basically, you would choose the individual you want to chat to. Click the check mark, opens up a box. I've actually done one earlier from a previous video. I can type what I want in this, in this option here. Click enter, it would send it off to Kristen and she can respond back. You can delete from here. So if there's a uh, chat conversation I no longer want to have, I can highlight that conversation and delete it. It's gonna ask you, do you really want to delete that? Yes, I do. At this point, when you have nothing in here, the only option really is to compose. This icon here, I can't really click on as this is gonna start a new web meeting, which I'm actually using the web meeting to do this video. Uh, I'm gonna do a future video on just the web meeting itself as it is a really nice tool, kind of like a go-to meeting that you would use or, uh, or a WebEx kind of scenario. Uh, do a video just on that, but I don't wanna click that as it's gonna mess up the video I'm currently doing now. 
the conference tab is the next one here you can create an audio conference or a video conference uh, video would be leveraging that web meeting that I'm just talking about audio only would be just a conference bridge you can give it a give it a subject you can put notes in and down the bottom here you can either add from a uh, company list so you can see extensions that are already built in here any number I have currently built in our contacts list will be in here or I can just flat out type a number that's not currently in that list add it and I can either start that meeting now or schedule it for a future date and time the next icon is the switchboard icon which this window is really nice it's actually five different windows in one uh, all based on which level of the window you want to see uh, the lower level is the user level which really is just a standard BLF view, you know, busy lamp field view of everybody in the company. I can double click anything here to actually call that extension, as well as get the icon indication of whether they're on the phone, off the phone, away, talking, whatever it may be. The receptionist view is more of like a receptionist attendant console. You get the BLF view of everybody in the company, as well as call indication up here. This will show you any calls that are currently going on in the company, not just necessarily tied to your extension, but any calls in the company. Uh, you do have the ability to right click on a call and do transfer and things like that. If it's tied to your extension, uh, you also have the ability to drop calls of other people in the event you see something going on that's not, shouldn't be business related, you can actually disconnect that call from here. The manager view, gives you the BLF information as well as the ongoing call information uh, and adds in the queue information. We've got a service department queue here. I can see the status of all the agents, who's logged in, who's logged out, how many calls have been answered, how many calls have been abandoned by the individual agents, as well as an overview here of what's going on in the queue, how many calls are currently waiting, how many calls have been serviced, how many abandoned, longest waiting, average wait time, and average talk time. Q manager uh, is basically everything minus the BLF screen. I guess they figure as a receptionist, you want that BLF because you're constantly calling people in the company, doing transfers and things like that. As a Q manager, you're really more worried about what's going on in my queues and what calls are currently in place. And the last one is a wall board. This is the, your standard wall board you would see on a TV in a call center. Shows you your date and time. Uh, kind of a header here for this. This is completely adjustable. You can customize this for whatever you want it to be. Shows you the number of calls waiting, the talk time for that queue, how many calls have been answered, how many calls have been abandoned, total agents that are busy on the phone, the total number of calls, callbacks. This here is a nice feature that 3CX offers. Uh, basically, you can put a threshold in the queue after 60 seconds, 90 seconds, whatever you want it to be it offers the caller the ability to do a callback. That way the individual does not have to sit on the phone the entire time they're waiting for an agent. Uh, it basically confirms the number they're calling from. Is this the number you want to use? They say yes, and it saves their place in line automatically. And when your agent answers the phone, they get music on hold. The system calls that individual back on the number they supplied, and you continue the conversation. And this just shows you how many times that's happened. And this here is your average wait time. So that's pretty much it. Again, this is just going to be an introduction to the product, a quick overview of what it can do. Uh, we're going to do a future video for more in-depth stuff on this, but just wanted to give you an idea of what it can do for you and your business. Thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you on a future one.